Hello everyone, I'm Yektajan. Today I will talk about Suleymaniye Mosque and its complex. This is contents of my video. Firstly, I will talk about the history of Suleymaniye from past to present. Then I will show you a short video about its location. Finally, uh, I will mention about external and internal structure of Suleymaniye, the materials used, tiles and acoustics. Let's start with the history. The history of Suleymaniye district starts from the Ottoman Empire. Especially in the 16th century, it's one of the most important districts of Istanbul with the mosque and a complex, which is the complex of structures that brought name and feature of Kanuni Sultan Suleyman to the district. Until the first quarter of 17th century, Suleymaniye has been the most distinguished and important district of Istanbul due to the reputation of the ulama. The neighborhood witnessed most vividly in the mixed period of the Ottoman Empire in the 18th century due to the presence of the Medresa and the palace where the ulama lived. In the 19th century, the military function of the district comes into prominence with the military buildings added in Suleymaniye such as Daire Yevmure Military, Kishla Yuhmayun, Cephane and Suleymaniye Barracks. When we come to the 20th century, uh, Suleymaniye lost its former importance, unfortunately. With the formation of poor settlements around it, it has ceased to be a district preferred by the elite group and has become a district where people from various cities or countries come to Istanbul whose economic conditions are not sufficient. Today, Suleymaniye district is a historical place where tourism has priority with mosque and its complex. Madrasa and health centers are still actively used nowadays. Suleymani is surrounded by Golden Horn, which is located in one of Istanbul's seven hills. Location of Suleymani and Suleymani Mosque. Let's talk about the art and architecture. I want to talk about firstly the exterior of the mosque. There is a courtyard with a central fountain before entering the mosque. The courtyard is extraordinary with a columnar peristyle with columns of marble and granite. The northwestern front of the mosque is decorated with rectangular Iznik tile window units. The mosque is the first building in which Iznik tiles contain brightly colored red tomato clay under the glaze. There are four minarets in the four corners of the courtyard. There are three galleries in two long minarets and rise to 64 meters without the lid covers and 76 meters including covers. Four minarets were used. The minarets have a total of 10 galleries which according to tradition shows that Suleyman was the 10th of the Mishalta. The interior of the mosque is almost 59 meters long and 58 meters wide as you can see in the pictures forming a single wide area. The dome is flanked by semi-domes and the north and south arcs with tympanophile windows supported by enormous Corpian monoliths. Iznik tile coverings are used only around the altar. The followings are predominantly turquoise, red and black but green is not used. According to the calculations of Mimar Sinan, 32 windows were built in the main dome of the mosque to provide the efficient lightning. One of the most important features of the Suleymaniye Mosque is its successful acoustics. Mimar Sinan placed empty cubes at various points of the mosque to provide acoustics. As you can see in the picture, Mimar Sinan carried out sound tests by bubbling empty hookah water to provide acoustics. Let's look at the floor plan of Suleymaniye. Floor plan of the complex showing mosque, tomb of Suleyman, tomb of Hurem, public fountain, elementary school, medrese, second medrese, medical school, hospital, guest house, Sinan's tomb with domed stable and empty plot of his end of school and residence, bathhouse, bimarhane, shrines, hammam and shops. Kanuni Sultan Suleyman Han complex was built in 1566 with an octagonal plane made by Mimar Sinan with a very different understanding and the, tomb, and the tombs built up to that they are very different. Iznik tiles. Red underglaze technique which constitutes the brightest period of the tile art has been used in tiles and evidence 
cobalt blue tones, turquoise, green, black, brown, fluffy coral red. The tiles used in the Suleymaniye Mosque were brought from the Iznik. Drunk Ibrahim, the stained glass master of the period, contributed to the tiles of the mosque. Since the painting is forbidden in the belief of Islam, the beauty theme in the mosque is handled with calligraphic writings of the chronic verses. On the walls of the mosque, we can find calligraphy. And the calligraphists and hattats Ahmed Karisari and his talented student Çelebi Hasan. The lines on the tiles, including the inscriptions of the main entrance of the courtyard built by Ahmed Karisari, is important as the original works of the period when the mosque was built. The famous mosque, which was repaired on different dates, was finally overhauled by the general decorate of the foundations until the main dome in the 1950s and the classical decoration, which was removed from the bottom and the barrack ornaments, was turned to the interior architecture of the mosque. Thank you for listening.